UTF EBCDIC is a character encoding used to represent Unicode characters. It is meant to be EBCDIC friendly, so that legacy EBCDIC applications on mainframes may process the characters without much difficulty. Its advantages for existing EBCDIC based systems are similar to UTF 8's advantages for existing ASCII based systems. Details on UTF EBCDIC are defined in Unicode Technical Report No. 16. To produce the UTF EBCDIC encoded version of a series of Unicode code points, an encoding based on UTF-8 known in the specification as UTF-8 mod is applied first creating what the specification calls an I-8 sequence. The main difference between this encoding and UTF-8 is that it allows Unicode code points U plus 0080 through U plus 009F the C1 control codes to be represented as a single byte and therefore later mapped to corresponding EBCDIC control codes. In order to achieve this, UTF-8 mod uses 101XXXXX instead of 10XXXXXX as the format for trailing bytes in a multi-byte sequence. As this can only hold 5 bits rather than 6, the UTF-8 mod encoding of code points above U plus 009F is generally larger than the UTF-8 encoding. The UTF-8 mod transformation leaves the data in an ASCII-based format for example, U plus 0041A is still encoded as 0100001, so each byte is fed through a reversible one -to -one lookup table to produce the final UTF EBCDIC encoding. For example, 0100001 in this table maps to 11001, thus the UTF EBCDIC encoding of U plus 0041 Unicode's A is hexadecimal C1 EBCDICs A. This encoding form is rarely used, even on the EBCDIC-based mainframes for which it was designed. IBM EBCDIC-based mainframe operating systems, such as Z.O.S., usually use UTF-16 for complete Unicode support. For example, DB2 UDB, COBOL, PLACE, I, Java and the IBM XML toolkit support UTF-16 on IBM mainframes. Topic. Code page layout. There are 160 characters with single byte encodings in UTF EBCDIC compared to 128 in UTF 8. As can be seen, the single byte portion is similar to IBM 1047 instead of IBM 37 due to the location of the square brackets. CCSID 37 has at hex BA and BB instead of at hex AD and BD respectively. Blue cells containing a large single digit number are the start bytes for a sequence of that many bytes. The unbolded hexadecimal code point number shown in the cell is the lowest character value encoded using that start byte. This value can be greater than the value which would be obtained by following the start byte with continuation bytes which are all 65 hex hexadecimal 41, if this would result in an invalid overlong form. Orange cells with one dot are continuation bytes. The hexadecimal number shown after a plus plus sign is the value of the five bits they add. Red cells indicate start bytes for a sequence of that many bytes which can never appear in properly encoded UTF EBCDIC text, because any possible continuation would result in an invalid overlong form. For example, hexadecimal 76 is marked in red because even hexadecimal 76 hexadecimal 73 which maps to the UTF-8 mod sequence hexadecimal C2 hexadecimal BF would merely be an overlong encoding of U plus 005F properly encoded as UTF-8 mod hexadecimal 5F, UTF EBCDIC hexadecimal 6D. Topic. Oracle UTF-E Oracle UTF-E is a Unicode 3.0 UTF-8 Oracle database character set with 6-byte support for supplementary characters. It is used only on EBCDIC platforms. Advantages Only Unicode character set for EBCDIC. Length of SQL char types can be specified in number of characters. Binary order of the SQL char columns is same as binary order of the SQL NCHAR columns if the data consists of same supplementary characters. Consequently, these columns sort the same for identical strings. Disadvantages Supplementary characters occupy 6 bytes instead of 4 bytes only. Consequently, supplementary characters need to be converted. UTF-E is not a Unicode standard encoding. Clients requiring UTF-8 encoding must convert data on retrieval and storage. 
Topic. See also. UTF-1 UTF-8 BOCU-1 Topic. References Topic. External links V.S. Umamaheswaran, Unicode Technical Report No. 16, The Definition of UTF-EBSIDIC 16 April 2002